A former Met detective barred from policing after gross misconduct was proven. A disciplinary panel ruled that a former Metropolitan Police Service MPS detective would have been dismissed without notice if he was still serving after hearing that he had informed an inappropriate relationship with a met woman he met through his work. The hearing was organised in the force following our investigation. Former Detective Constable DC Joseph Gilligan also used police computer systems to access records relating to this woman and her former partner. The disciplinary panel, led by an independent and legally qualified chair today, yesterday, Friday the 25th of March, found gross misconduct proven and ruled that the former officer had breached the standards of professional behaviour for authority, respect and courtesy, confidentiality, honesty, integrity and discreditable conduct. It was alleged that former DC Gilligan pursued and or established and or engaged in an improper sexual relationship with a victim of domestic violence, made an unauthorised disclosure to the woman for which there was no policing purpose of sensitive data relating to a police investigation he was involved in, conducted unauthorised searches on MPS computer systems in relation to the woman and her former partner without a policing purpose, accessed the woman's mobile phone without permission and viewed messages and or photographs on the phone and deleted photographs, um failed to report road collision incidents which he had been involved in while driving and apparently after he had been drinking. <laughs> Disgusting. The IOPC investigation followed a referral from the MPS in February 2020 and looked at allegations that the officer had formed an inappropriate relationship with a woman he met during the course of his duties. Evidence that was gathered indicated that he had accessed information relating to her on police computer systems. Naughty, naughty, naughty. He shared sensitive data with the woman, including custody images of a suspect for a serious sexual assault and a picture of the victim. The hearing was told he crashed his personal car into a vehicle in a police station when he believed he was over the drink drive limit and failed to report the collision when it happened, later blaming it on a health condition. A file of evidence was referred to the CPS which made the decision not to authorise charges against former DC Gilligan. IOPC Regional Director Sal Nazim said, Former DC Gilligan formed a relationship with a woman who was a victim of domestic violence and therefore was potentially vulnerable. Actions like this undermine the public's trust in police officers who should also know that it is entirely inappropriate to use the police computer systems for personal reasons, and he was found to have done so. Former DC Gilligan has now left policing and his name will be put on the barred list so he cannot rejoin in the future. During our investigation, which concluded in June 2021, Investigators obtained an account from the officer, examined his mobile phone, his work email account and conducted an audit of the use of MPS intelligent platforms. Additional statements were obtained from those connected to, to, connected to the investigation. Former DC Gilligan resigned from the force in February 2021 and the panel added him to the policing barred list preventing him from future employment within the police service. Well, 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 what a naughty boy. Guys, I'm the Lord of Audits. I bring you these um, stories because uh, I find them of interest and I think um, the general public 
probably wouldn't know of these and, and, until I brought them to you. Uh, so I hope you don't mind me bringing you these stories. Lord of Audits, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions, comments or anything else, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get to them eventually. Um, I'm usually quite quick, usually within two or three days. Um, yeah, make sure you hit that bell icon as well, that bell end icon, if you want to stay tuned to what's going on. Peace, brothers, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us.